Go ahead. Actually, please. I have two questions. But uh, first of all, I want to thank the CGTN, the professor here, to invite us. It's a nice discussion. And uh, my two, my three questions, is, uh, almost two questions now. One is is about uh, how to combine the Western medicine with the Chinese medicine in the treatments. And the clinical manifestation maybe is uh, quite the same, but in the treatment, uh, for sure, in Chinese medicine, we use the herbal medication. Some, sometimes we do use the acupuncture. Here, we, most of the time, we talk about the, the herbal medication, but we don't talk about acupuncture, which is very, very interesting. It's very useful, the acupuncture in this situation. Also, the gua sha, the, the cupping. Uh, my question is, can we say that uh, everybody's talking about one medication called the chloroquine phosphate? So can we say the chloroquine, chloroquine phosphate could be applied along with PCM because of its straight reaction on wind, dampness, evil, uh, in Chinese, the liu yin, and especially here we're talking most of the time about the wind, the humidity and dampness, uh, also the heat. Uh, as uh, Western medicine used it in rheumatoid arthritis, and in Chinese medicine, as you know, the rheumatoid arthritis is related to the Hanshi Ru. Uh, it means that the humidity and wind. Uh, so, uh, what I want to say, this is my first question. Uh, second question, as we use here the, we, I already read about the, the, the Ch National Chinese Committee uh, they, I already have the, 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 the link, and I read about the, the three kinds of the, the prescription, Chinese prescription. One is the Tinghua uh, Qinggan Granule. The second is the Lianghua Qinwen Capsule, and the uh, Jing. As we know, the Jinghua Qinggan, they use it in, for H1N1 in 2009. And uh, Spiri gene, they use it for SARS in 2003. But what my question is, and especially Spiri gene for sepsis, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, the Spiri, the Spiri for Zui Tang, the Ji Shu Shang, the Spiri gene. So what my question is, in the critical, uh, in the critical condition, I know the professor Leo talked about the critical condition. Can we use can we still can can we still using this uh, three uh, uh, prescriptions in the critical condition as we talked just now about it, and uh, only we can use it for severe or mild cases? How about if it is critical conditions? What could be here the PCM, uh, herbal medication, or acupuncture, or any kind of treatment could help in this in this situation? Does it help the PCM in critical situation or not? And thank you. Okay, so I will uh, give you a general answer. So um, I will um, provide uh, the answer from three aspects. The first, based on a single differentiation. Um, in terms of PCM, COVID-19 is categorized as a kind of plague. So it is still um, affected by exogenous factors. So in TCM, we generally categorize the cases as mild, moderate, severe, and uh, the recovery period. And based on different age group and localities, we have proposed individual treatments in general, um, during the initial stage, we, we tend to choose um, the medicine which helps the patient's swelling. And uh, this, this group of patients often refer to, often have mild to moderate situation, always in the mild to moderate situation. If they got uh, timely treatment with PCM, then the effect is uh, quite good. And the second stage is uh, when the situation gets worse. That is, uh, the patient's lungs were intruded by the pathogenic factors. 
At this time, we often choose to renew the dampers and the ventilating alarm. And during this stage, uh, from the TCM theory, patients are generally have the symptoms of yang deficiency. And uh, so we need to treat patients based on syndrome differentiation during the recovery stage because of the hurt caused by pathogenic factors patients often develop symptoms of totally dampness and we choose to use the methods to help them to strengthen the lungs and to strengthen their uh, to help enhance the young uh, uh, chi and uh, this is also a method of syndrome differentiation for the general general patients we choose to use tcm drugs and many the Jinghua Qinggan granule, Lianhua Qingwen capsule, and the Zhebijing injection. These three types of uh, three kinds of uh, Chinese medicine have been widely used in the anti-COVID-19 campaign. And uh, they have all been applied to all the patients, including mild cases, moderate cases, severe cases, and critical cases. And among them, and the use of Zhebijin uh, injection is playing a year replaceable role to battle against uh, the inflammation storm. And uh, the use of uh, other injections is also recommended in this process. And we can choose to apply the targeted TCM to help us combat COVID-19. Okay, thirdly, I want to talk about the non-medication uh, treatments, which basically include acupuncture, oxybustion. Um, and from my experience, acupuncture has played a critical role. I noticed that it also um, turned to the question of the use of Chloroquine phosphate in combating COVID-19. In fact, and this drug that is a chloroquine phosphate has also been applied in China. And but we have we had whole discussions on the usage of it, but we didn't haven't yet reached a conclusion which is convincing enough. And we have also been discussing on several other methods and which might be helpful and effective and we will continue to discuss on it. <laughs>